So what are now the tasks of an inverter uh, in a PV system? So why, what is the role? So tasks of an inverter in a PV system of several inverters um, in a PV system. You can see in this uh, images on the right hand side, you see different um, types of, of inverters. You see here at the top, the rooftop system with uh, several smaller inverters. Here in the second uh, image, uh, you see uh, a lot of uh, inverters uh, mounted in a room. Then the third picture shows a ground mounted uh, system and inverters uh, just installed right behind one row. Uh, and finally, at the bottom, you see in this picture, a large uh, central inverter again uh, installed in a ground mounted PV system. So what is what are the tasks? Um, what are the concepts? So of course, the first uh, issue we've uh, already discussed is uh, the transformation uh, transformation formation uh, of uh, DC power. Uh, to AC power. So we've seen that we have this uh, PV modules or PV generator. Uh, then we need our inverters. So that's uh, the icon. We have the DC power on the left hand side. And then we get this um, AC power on the right hand side. And then we can connect this uh, to the grid so that the main task of course um, of the inverter uh, this should be done this transformation uh, with a very high efficiency so the typical values of the efficiency is at of modern inverters let's say 97 up to 98 percent keep in mind that there are different uh, definitions of the uh, efficiency, you've seen the uh, euro uh, efficiency uh, for systems uh, with a location in Central Europe or northern part of the United States, the China, Japan, and then the um, Californian uh, efficiency of CEC efficiency, which fits better uh, for locations uh, close to the equator, like in California, Texas, uh, northern Africa, for example. Um, then, of course, uh, an issue which the inverter has to handle is that the AC power uh, is synchronic uh, to the grid frequency. The grid frequency, grid frequency is uh, 50 hertz, so 50 uh, per second. And the inverter is uh, responsible to generate AC power, which is uh, which fits to this uh, grid frequency. If this, uh, if the frequency is differing from this uh, 50 hertz, the inverter has to adopt uh, or might protect on the one hand the PV system um, because small changes um, of this value, just 0.2 hertz, might uh, damage the system. Um, so that's a uh, second, uh, second task. Let's. Uh, write this down, this synchronic uh, feed in of the power uh, to the grid. grid frequency. Next, the inverter must um, do the MPP regulation. P regulation. Um, so, see, we have the uh, we have look at the IV curve, so current and voltage of our PV system. So that slope of curve, um, and somewhere here that the maximum power point, and the inverter must be uh, it's responsible for identifying this maximum power point. So um, by Changing the voltage, we get the 
perfect uh, current to get the maximum power point. Uh, although this, uh, the inverter is just able to do this with a specific uh, MPP, um, MPP control range. So the PV system, the PV module intervention must fit to the inverter that the inverter is able to identify the MPP under uh, different conditions, of course, under changing conditions, which means that, uh, of course, the irradiance is changing always and the module temperature uh, is changing and the module temperature has an influence uh, on the voltage of this uh, system. Um, then uh, another task what uh, most modern inverters are doing is they are monitoring all the um, electric parameters. So again, one, one issue which is very important uh, for uh, fault identification is monitoring of uh, technical parameters. So the inverter is responsible to check what is the DC voltage, DC current. Um, on the one hand, what's about the AC current, AC voltage, uh, the grid frequency, technical parameters like uh, the temperature of the inverter. Does this uh, temperature fit to the technical uh, limitations the inverter has? Um, and all these uh, technical parameters can uh, be used on a computer to identify technical um, problems. And then uh, next issue is that the inverter is um, uh, checking the leakage current or the insulting uh, resist uh, resistance. So uh, monitoring, let's figure these two issues uh, of uh, the leakage current. Uh, or and the the insulting uh, resistance with this resistance. Um, so in case that a cable is broken uh, and uh, the current flows uh, not uh, through the wiring. Uh, that might be a security or health issue. And of course, the inverter is checking this uh, as well. And in case of any technical problem, um, in this case, uh, the inverter would shut down the system um, that no one can get hurt. And the last task of an inverter um, is about the grid stability. Um, so um, as there are a lot of PV systems installed uh, globally, um, the energy utilities must be uh, able to um, control the PV system uh, to um, reach grid stability in case of any problems. So uh, what must be uh, installed and what is uh, default configuration for a modern PV system uh, that there's a remote Uh, controlled power reduction by the energy utility so that the energy utility can send a signal to the inverter to reduce uh, the uh, the power to stabilize the grid because uh, change in the power has an influence on the grid frequency and uh, the most important issue uh, regarding grid stability is that the grid frequency keeps at the level of 50 Hertz and any uh, deviation from this value, uh, then the energy utilities must interact or the grid operators must interact. So the energy utility or the grid operators must be able to um, control the inverter by remote. Uh, and then finally, um, an issue which is important, particularly for large PV system, 
uh, is about the reactive uh, the reactive power. Uh, power control so that uh, again the grid operator um, gives the value for the reactive power uh, the inverter uh, feeds into the grid um, again this is a uh, grid stability issue um, that under normal conditions there there is no um, reactive power that's just the active uh, power um, but in some cases it might be necessary that the inverter also uh, feeds in reactive power to the grid.